Whoa, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash level request video. We're back to it. We're being a moderator for once in my life. Let's just make sure I still have it. Yep. Okay, I'm still mod. We're good. Jeez, I gotta start doing these more. I'm serious. Like, I'm so sorry I kept you guys waiting. In the Google form linked in the description, you will find the form to request levels. Randomly chosen, we have Reboot by Dav7274. I haven't heard this song in an eternity, bro. This is a nostalgic trip. It's black and white. Some nice radial blur too. I like that sudden burst in a color. Hello. Reboot, nice gradient background. Love the glow on those objects. This is cool. Okay, I dig it. I like what this level's going for. I think there could have been some more suspenseful details in the beginning. We have some particles here. Might have been nice to have them in the beginning too, just to kind of lead up into this spot. Definitely mystical vibes going through this. I love the colors in the drop section. This is awesome. This is just really solid. I like the concept of it being a reboot. Oh, it cuts the song? That's awesome. I just think it could have some extra little details just to bring it all together. That's so sick. Reboot, rate three stars. That's so cool. Thank you, Dav, for submitting that. That's that's fire. Three. Boom. I'm gonna follow you. Next up, we have Further Away by Venta Wolves using Vibing with an old console by Dicewix. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is hype right off the bat. Holy crap. I love the details, the fire everywhere. This is awesome. Every detail is perfectly appropriated for this theme. One little nitpick is the fading at the sides, the way these moons kind of go off in quarters. Not huge on that. Maybe try and use don't fade, don't enter or some sort of creative transition like that. But this looks so cool. The song fits perfectly. I love the laser beams at the bottom with those tiny little particles just to start the beams. That's fire. And the colored planets go hard. Ooh, that's a sick transition. The big burst of energy right there. I would maybe just have like a slight color change for the background just on the beats. But other than that, this is lit. This is awesome. I really like it. The slight movement every time we move is also really nice. I dig it. The, my favorite part, honestly, is the particle usage. The fire, all of that stuff. I think the background could just change slightly. That's all. That's pretty much it. This really is awesome. I love the designs too. Okay, so check out the left side of the screen, the way that these moons fade off here. As opposed to me just selecting the whole level right here and going on to extra and and clicking don't fade, don't enter. This now looks a lot more clean on the left side. It brings me more into the vibe. This transition is executed really well. It looks super simple and it works. I would also consider giving the entire level a group. This is this is my very ugly way of creating, but just to give an example, you can control a lot more with different groups and stuff, but if you just put that group ID into a pulse trigger and just increase the brightness ever so slightly like this, and you can create a pulse real quick. It just lightens it up. I can make that a lot brighter just to show you the difference. Right there, you see how the blocks kind of light up there. You can also saturate that a lot too, which could be kind of weird. But I definitely suggest running a background flash of some sort. It doesn't have to be that bright. I see that the background is just the plain background. What I would maybe do is set it to like the moon one. It doesn't even have to be like gray. It can be to like a low blue or something. Yeah. You see the difference there? Or I could literally just put a giant overlay above the level using a big square like this. Put this as a uh, black black blending on the next free group, which is going to make it invisible for now. But if I put this on T4, let's set this to, I don't know, group 369. Oh, I see that's not above some of the details in the level, but pretend it is, right? And I set 369 to the group here. You can kind of just uplift the entire level by its color there. You see how it's going gray? And with that screen, you can make brightening pulses and also slightly color it like that orange one. There's a lot of options you could do here, but I think this is dope. I'm going to follow you and I'm also going to give this a four star rate send. Yo! Didn't I just send this? That's that's hype, dude. It's not very often I really clock that my levels that I send get rated, but that's awesome. Time Shaper by Frick Snipe using Zizix Time Shaper. Okay, this is fantastic. What a brilliant first impression. I'm doing that again. This first frame looks so cool. The camera zooms straight away. I am rocking with this. This is awesome. Love the vibes here. Oh, gotta double click that. Like the particle on the bottom. This is hype. Dude, there's a lot of effects going on, but this looks really cool. This song actually does sound kind of wintry now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, lots of green portals. Okay, I prefer the blue and yellow portals, but the green ones work, I guess. It's it's just easy to sight read when you can tell exactly what gravity you're going into without having to like double check with yourself. Nice swing cop dissection. This part actually looks beautiful. I really like how you've done the colors. The background fits well. You don't really need much air deco with this, which is pretty cool. You're just letting the background speak for itself. I don't know if this level will age all that well, but it looks cool right now. Just because of how much you've relied on that new background for the visual, but I dig it personally. 
I love this slowdown with the dark colors for the quiet section of the song. I love it. There's so many animated assets like the particles and stuff that's rotating around the portals. I thought I was smart, but it's actually a double fake. Okay. Lots of similar deco from the beginning, just a color switch. So I kind of respect it. It could give me a couple of new things here. Oh, that's the end. Okay, interesting. I really liked that section in the middle and the beginning was a very good impression. So much happened straight away. I really like that. And I think the shockwave works perfectly with it. I'd maybe just switch up the designs a little bit, but this goes hard. And it's sometimes hard to fly with that shockwave. I think it's cool. This is going to be another rating send for me. Echoes by Spice8002 using the Undertaker's Daughter instrumental. Wow, this thing is beautiful straight away. Holy crap. This looks so sick. The giant S block in the bubble. This clownfish. Yo, this is awesome. Oh my goodness. My eyes are not used to my cube being on the left. This goes so hard. I really like the foreground too. This is beautiful. Nice transition. We're now a robot. Okay, don't hit the ceiling. That was very simple. I don't know why I didn't do that. Interesting. The camera work is nice. Feels very lively with all the breaking assets. This is this is insane. I love this so much already. Oh man. Yo, the 3D. What? This gradient usage is nuts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. This part is so freaking cool. Oh, I died to that orb. I shouldn't have jumped before it. Okay. The zoom out is nuts too. It gives me a lot more perspective on the whole thing. It makes the part feel a lot more isolated from the rest of the level. It's like a nice break. I like that. It's like a brief moment to recollect. The particles on the foreground is so cool. I was not expecting a part like this in the middle of an art level. You know, normally I would complain about a part dragging on for quite a while, but this is so worth it, dude. I am loving every second of this section, and it's changing. There's a giant bright light in front of me. This is- this is hype. <laughs> What's gonna happen now? It's gonna end the level, right? That's so cool. Wait, there's more? There's an icon in front of me. That's so sick. And the orbs are just floating into place. Oh, jump over that. That's like a nice guide in front of me. Dude, this level is so cool. And that's an awesome album. I like how you've indicated the number of groups that you used and the number of colors with those two objects. That's just, it's just so neat. Six star. Okay, I will give this a six. I think an epic rating will do, yeah. The gameplay wasn't exactly the most readable thing ever. And it did extend that one part in the middle for quite a while, which I enjoyed, but I would have liked to have seen just a little bit extra of a twist. Okay, we have an NA rated level now. Psychedelicnessness <laughs> by Cat Jam, Cat Jabum, Cat JBM1. Sorry. <laughs> Shineth by Block Ghost is the music for this one. Let's get straight to it. Woo! Interesting introduction. Ooh, nice zoom in. This is very psychedelic. I'll give you that. These colors are awesome. This gameplay is surprisingly sight readable. This is kind of an abstract, colorful level. I see, I see, I see. It's gonna be like an effect modern hybrid. I dig it. This goes so hard already. I love the structuring here, how you've got like stripes of spikes rather than like regular spikes there. The foreground is cool. Okay, nice little memory here. I was not expecting to be able to ascend up the blocks like that. Okay, just follow the arrows. Nice. Cool transition with the text. I dig it. Nice explosive transition with the zoom out right on time with the song. Love that. This feels so bizarre, dude. The gameplay is amazing. Okay. Lots of moving colors just in the background, making me wonder what is actually going on, which is probably the intention. So I dig it. These arrows look very cool. There's a lot of different pulsing objects combined together to make those. This is my kind of level, dude. Absolute trip so far. Love the structuring that's using different kinds of spikes and very weird shapes that makes you fly in a weird direction, but very nice transition once again with the gray scale. Okay, inverted wave. I like this. This is so fun to play too. And the layering is awesome with the arrows above. That is a coin that I'm gonna try and get. I don't think it's gonna be possible for Little Whizzle though. I'm kind of terrible, dude. Boom, got it, okay. Oh God, it just inverted right in front of my eyes. I barely even noticed. I'm so locked into this level's visuals. <gasps> what? Oh, that's just a cutoff point. Gotcha. Okay, Cat JBM, you made a bat. Oh, did I do it? Dang it. I still died. Okay, let me try that one more time. Got it. Okay, nice. Oh, you go backwards into the heart. Love that for the end screen. 16 downloads, by the way. Come on. Dude, come on. This level has a very promising name. Vibrant Velocity by Kotek2005 using a Temanite song. Let's go. Ooh, that ship portal zooming out straight away. Amazing touch to start the level. Love it. 
That's a very harsh color switch, but it goes hard. Love this wavy thing in the background, and the camera work is amazing too. Love the blur in between. This is well built. This is really well made. The subtle movements and everything. Oh, very different approach for this part. The colors are completely different here. We have a much brighter choice for the block design. This is hype. What on earth? Dude, the open screen is used so well here to make a very falling focus ball section. And the color schemes all around have been phenomenal. The way that you use colors for your blocks, it's so sick. And that's an amazing transition. Wow, dude. Dude, you make this style look easy. Not gonna lie. Well made all around. Love the bushes in the block design. Like, how have you even managed to pull that off? And I love that circling effect in the center. This is a banger level. Holy crap. Weird choice to use red orbs there. This is the trippiest wave part I've ever seen in my entire life. Hello? I have no idea where I am. Oh, God. Okay, just stay in the middle. Dude, this is an epic rating for me. Energy is peaking. Absolute banger. That's like a nine epic for me. What else can I really say? Just a very convincing, well-made, well-structured, beautiful, memorable color scheme level. I'm running out of compliments, dude. It's just it's just so good. Okay, thank you so much for watching this Geometry Dash Love Request video. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe. I'll try and do this weekly, but we'll see. Have a good day.